All right, we're going to take a look at the desoldering tool. But this is a uh, desoldering tool. It is an electric desoldering tool. I've had the, what I call the suckers. Uh, you push the plunger down and you trigger a button as the solder melts. It sucks it up in there. and I mean, those work fine. Uh, I've got a plunger style, which is like a soldering gun like this that has a cross tip down here, like at an angle, and a bulb. Once you solder it, you let go of the bulb and it sucks the solder in, and that works great. Even better than the little suckers that you hit the button and it sucks it up. Uh, this, I'm hoping, works even better, and it'll be the primary one I use. And uh, it comes with one tip installed and three extras with a little cleaning tool. And if these are even remotely as good as my little uh, plunger style, which I got from Radio Shack uh, forever ago, uh, I maybe went through two tips and I literally for a long time desoldered everything I could off of uh, computer boards and saved the components for whatever reason I saved them for. I don't know. Don't even know where they're at nowadays. Uh, but I literally desoldered somewhere probably between 500 and 1,000 components with two tips on that. So hopefully if these are work as, or last as long, then huh, that's a lot, of, a lot of components coming off there. Uh, instruction manual. It's a... Uh, this one is 110 volt. It's a 30 watt. All right, <clears throat> so it seems kind of straightforward. Here's the here's the button. Be nice if it was kind of an angled down tip. I think that would be a great addition. Um, but it's a straight tip, which we can work with that. I think that'll be just just fine. I think I'm going to take this uh, cool display. I can't remember what these are called. Uh, it's probably some kind of vapor sealed display or I don't know if, if you know tell me because I've, I've forgotten what these are called you see them all all the time on the high-end expensive uh, radio systems back when I was a kid the way I'll set this is kind of put it there and move it out to there okay so it's a solenoid base I know there's a suction cup in here and so apparently just sucks it in so let's give this a try So what I'm doing, because I can't actually get it over the component leg, so I'm kind of putting it beside it when it heats up. I'm triggering it, and it seems to be working. has a really uh, a really heavy recoil when you're triggering it so the board does dance around in this uh, holder
uh, I'd recommend having a, a, a cup or something to the side to where you trigger it to suck the solder, put it in the cup to release it, and some of the spit back will go in there. And I'd, use, I'd even trigger it a few times. Uh, the way this works is it's got a silicone uh, suction uh, apparatus in here, spring-loaded with a shaft that goes into a coil. And it's basically a solenoid. When you hit this button, wherever it's at, hit this button, it pulls that shaft just like a, uh, like a doorbell, actually, uh, to create a suction on this uh, silicone uh, bladder that's in here. And it's spring-loaded, so it compresses it. And so you're hitting the button to open it up and to create a suction to pull down. And there's a flat flange on the back side of the, the heating element that goes against that silicone uh, bladder uh, for your seal. And this right here is, I've noticed it moving a little bit, so I need to see about if there's something I can do to tighten that up a little bit, or if I just didn't put it back together just right. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, again, uh, at, so far I recommend the setup. I recommend the, the base. I recommend the desolderer. Uh, but I also recommend some, some improvements to the setup. So, uh, that's about all I've got right now for this, uh, desolderer and a kind of an update on this vice. Um, appreciate you watching, uh, the, some affiliate links in the description down at the bottom. Uh, I appreciate you. Thanks and God bless.